Venetoclax is a oral uh, agent that um, blocks a protein called BCL2. BCL2 is expressed in high levels in CLL cells. It's a protein that is responsible for, for prolonged survival of the CLL cells. So um, venetoclax will block and uh, downmodulate the activity of BCL2 and the cells undergo apoptosis. Um, and so we've been involved in a number and there have been a number of trials with venetoclax. The first trial uh, was a monotherapy trial with dose a dose escalation strategy, um, and that uh, is in the process of being public published, so we'll have the data for that trial publicly available. It's been reported in, in meetings in the past, but we'll have the final, final report out uh, very soon. And there have been some other trials that have been combinations with venetoclax, for example, um, rituximab with venetoclax that's been reported for for previously treated patients. But this is an oral agent. It's taken once a day. Uh, there is some GI uh, toxicity that's been reported, but it's very low grade. It's not treatment limiting. Uh, probably the treatment limiting side effect that we've seen is with regard to tumor lysis syndrome. Because the drug is very potent, so potent that it will cause very sudden and extensive CLL cell death, uh, there, um, there are a lot of electrolyte abnormalities that can occur if that happens. If, um, so we have to be very cautious about starting at a very low dose and escalating the dose gradually to the dose that we want the patient on as the treatment dose. So that's been the biggest challenge with regard to this drug. It's, it's, it's a good challenge to have because the drug is so potent. The drug is very active. It doesn't have the same side effects as chemotherapy, for sure, the same long-term toxicities that we worry about. Um, it's very well tolerated and patients are getting very good deep remissions with venetoclax by itself. So it's an agent that we're very excited about. I'm hopeful that it'll get approved in the near future. I think with regard to what I think people should know, patients should know, and physicians should know is that it is such a potent drug that we have to be very careful and be very protective of the drug and be very cautious about how we use it and so that every patient that gets it is given, it, it is given safely to so that we don't have complications because people are, um, uh, are not as cautious as they should be when the drug gets out into the community because we would not want to be in a situation where a drug is pulled from the market because of safety concerns.